after that you get the opportunity of staying there for four more days and now these four more days will basically be combination of three important things so that is interview your psych test and gtu task uh, sir i uh, talked about officer like qualities so i guess uh, there is a like i think that there is a myth that uh, the qualities are inherent in someone like you cannot build officer like qualities so so is it the same thing that one cannot build officer like qualities with time with within them or like just inherit in them only well then the whole uh, theory of training fails uh, even if you clear ssb you will have to be trained in an academy hello everyone uh, welcome to the nlu podcast today in this episode we will discuss about careers for law students in defense services we have with us shashank sir uh, mr shashank patak sir is currently an assistant professor of law at the nlu he has done his graduation from national law school assam and his post graduation from national law school bangalore uh, shashank sir has cracked as a jag entry for the year 2016 uh, thank you sir for coming us for the, uh, coming here for us thank you so much for calling me Uh, so we know that uh, there are various uh, career paths for law students after graduation uh, it's just not limited to uh, what we say law as a degree they can go for any other competitive examinations also and could you uh, put light on the ways and paths the uh, law student has in defense services after graduation so let's discuss about the opportunities that defense services will give to a law student well just like any other graduate uh, even a law student can apply for defense services uh, let's talk about jag first of all now army also conducts an exam for jag navy also does that even in air force if you clear fcat examination and then you have law degree you have an opportunity that you can work in the legal department and apart from this you can also apply in coast guard services so these are the opportunities that one can get after completing law degree apart from this when i am talking about just jag a person can also give cds examination and through that can enter for his training in ota chennai the only thing would be that the nature of the service would be short service commission okay so so uh, you talked about that people have to give examination cds examination and other examinations so sir uh, could you tell us more about the examinations that one has to give like this is be interview that you talked about now ssb basically is a 5 days of assessment of the candidate this ssb program you get a call for it once you apply for it now the process or the new development that i got to know is for a law student one has to attempt <clears throat> pg clat for this now once you get a call for your ssb examination which is done at four different centers right now for army elabad bhopal bangalore and kapoorthala the candidate has to go to these centers and they have to first fall for the first day attempt an examination which is ppdt and apart from this there is another reasoning uh, question paper that is given to them now once you clear first day at your ssb after that you get the opportunity of staying there for four more days and now these four more days will basically be combination of three important things so that is interview your psych test and gtu task in gtu task you basically work in groups and then you are assessed on that so all the candidates they go on uh, the grounds their abilities are tested as to can they really be leaders now when i talk about these qualities which are being tested one can always visit google and search for officer like qualities there are qualities like there is a requirement of self confidence how intelligent you are how good your reasoning is how can you work in a group all these qualities are there and these are tested apart from gto there's another segment that i have just now discussed and that's a psych test which is combination of various tests like situation reaction test or word association test now i get reminded of uh, 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 one movie uh, skyfall in which james bond just to clear his examination as if he's fit to go to the field or not is given some words and is asked that just react to these words mm-hmm. that exactly is word association test just give an example uh, where you assess that how the person takes that word or how he is reacting to it or suppose a uh, situation reaction test uh, given the nature of the job in which you will be you might get into a situation which are very serious in nature how do you how do you react to it 
do you really lose your cup or you work on it and bring out solutions to it right so that's the analysis part of it and apart from this then there's an interview which basically is a one on one conversation now in this conversation they give you a piq form you fill it up and all the information that you fill in the form you are asked questions on the basis of the same now after you go through all this and then you go for conference in which you are told or it's decided whether you are fit to join the defense services or not and then it's followed by medical examinations and so on so you talked about a very big uh, like process of the examination that ssv interview is the assessment examination and you talked about various different tests like uh, the gtos and the physical uh, like qualities so uh, how should one uh, prepare for this examination like this interview so it's a very long interview for every different aspects so how should one go for preparing for these aspects right uh, now this is one of my favorite examinations i'll tell you why because this just not tests you on uh, the bookish knowledge but rather it also tests you with respect to your experience with respect to your personality and how well you can work in uh, serious situations now typically everybody asks me this question that how do you prepare for it see i just uh, tell them about this in um, uh, in this fashion that uh, like i can remember one f- phrase that's given by our uh, former president dr apj abdul kalam who said that you can't change your future but definitely you can change your habits the moment you change your habits you can change your future now what it means i'll tell you now when people ask me that how do you prepare for these examinations isme teen teen component hai hum kaise isko seekhenge interview mein jayenge to kya fake karenge ki nahi karenge there's simple answer to it why do you even have to fake suppose aap interview de rahe and in interview now somebody is asking you a question whether you wake up early or not why do you have to fake it because that person has experience he'll judge you now the moment you are doing it continuously for several months the honesty with which you'll answer this question will itself prove that yeah you are well who is a who's a early riser or any other thing that you want to establish there in front of them if you practice that make that your habit it will eventually be part of your life and the moment you describe them about your life um, it's basically a win-win situation for you now in interview as i said you fill in a piq form the details have been filled by you so it's you who is going to mold that interview aap decide karte hain ki aap se us interview mein questions kya puche jate hain they ask you questions on the basis of your basic details that you have filled in your hobbies or what are your achievements now in case you have achievements you'll be the one who can explain them about the whole journey right and from there they'll understand this similarly when i talk about psyche test uh, in the same fashion if you prepare for it that is mold your life accordingly the officer like qualities that i was talking about one knows about it work on them increase your reasoning ability be critical read newspapers read articles you have opinion when it when it comes to your ability uh, to understand things or intelligence for that matter solve puzzles right do all those exercises just don't let your mind control you right you should control it so these are some things for which you should work and this will eventually help you in cracking this test right in situation reaction test i'll come back to the same the requirement is wo aap se yahi janna cha rahe hain ki situation mein aap kaise react karenge start reacting like that how an officer would react now you ask me a question that what will be the nature of work here so now that you are going through that rigorous training aisa to nahi hai ki aap directors department mein ja ke kaam karenge you will also be required to fight in case you have to right because aapko bhi woh stars mil rahe hain jo kisi aur ko mil rahe hain aap cds ke through jate hain still you are becoming an officer a law student can also do that or else in case you want to go through jag still that is the requirement do your sector would be very different from the other uh, things which are there in, in the defense sector right in group task again how well you can manage the group how can you convince them in situations where they all are going against you but then you think that your opinion is right and you believe that you can convince them 
can you do that that's what you need you actually have to show over there all those skills uh, how well you can speak how well you can manage your crowd right so this is the most fundamental suggestion that i give to everyone well the preparation takes time i understand that and it's very rigorous but this is i think the first step that one should take uh, sir i talked about officer like qualities so i guess uh, there's a like i think that there is a myth that uh, the qualities are inherent in someone like you cannot build officer like qualities so so is it the same thing that one cannot build officer like qualities with time with within them or like it's just inherent in them only well then the whole uh, theory of training fails uh, even if you clear ssb you will have to be trained in an academy so they also believe that training is important for everybody they just testing you for your uh, ability as to are you even suitable enough to get into that training phase so one can always change right your training is starts after you clear ssb i suggest start your training even before that train yourself you can always change and then in case you believe that you are fit and you really want to get into this you will definitely get through and so like uh, you talked about like we should start training and all so uh, what would be the reasonable time one should start preparing for before the examination like if the deadline is there for examination so how much time before one should start preparing for the examination uh is question ka answer bhi mujhe tab dena padega when i said that uh, this exam tests you on your personality so there's no time limit for it right when you are studying for law you you or any work that you are doing do it in such fashion that you are the best in it right all those qualities that i am talking about try and fit them in all the works that you do daily and your preparation starts from that day itself so this is a general thinking in everyone's mind that defense services are only for males and not for females sir. so could you clarify on this point no okay thank you so much for asking that question um वैसे मैं समझता हूँ कि बहुत लोग ये चीज़ जानते होंगे बट स्टिल एज यू सेड ये कन्फ्यूजन है बहुत लोगों के माइंड में सो लेट मी क्लेरिफाई आर्मी में फीमेल्स uh, भी जा सकते हैं एंड लॉ स्टूडेंट के पर्सपेक्टिव से जैग में फीमेल्स की भी एंट्री होती है जैसा मैंने बोला था इट्स अ शॉर्ट सर्विस कमीशन इसका ट्रेनिंग ओ चेन्नई में होता है और ये बहुत पहले से होता आ रहा है सो फीमेल्स कैन ऑल्सो ज्वाइन जैग एंड डिफेंस सर्विसेज सो दैट्स नॉट एन ईशू दे हैव अ बाइफर्केशन बट uh they can join it there's a good news for you uh, we are also running classes on this in the university so i can see even you are interested in case your friends are also interested you all can come and join those classes we are most welcome sure sir we have many students who are interested uh, for preparing for ssp interview and for giving it and thank you sir for uh, for giving insight thank you so much for having me here yes sir thank you so much for giving insight